Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K Zero P I R, my YouTube channel. I've got FL Digi and Log for the Old Man up, and I'm going to show you Easy Riddy. That's Riddy A F S K. Hey, if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button below, and if you'd like to be notified when I put out a new video, ring that bell. Okay, here we go. In the last video, I showed how I set up Log for the Old Man so it will work with FL Digi. When I'm operating in FL Digi, I can log right into Log for the Old Man and it fills in everything that I need. So uh, let me show you how I've got uh, FL Digi set up for Ready. And the last video I showed all the internal settings. If you go into config and dialog, I showed all that. And I don't think I need to go into that anymore. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll answer them as quick as I can. But looking at FL Digi, if you don't have this showing up here, that's what you want to do. You want to click on this button until you have this showing and I'm in upper sideband it's actually upper sideband D or D1 if you're using the 7610 uh, your radio may or may not have a digital uh, mode to be in so you might just be using USB so I uh, got the, uh, the the frequency up here the mode and then my filter bandwidth and I can tell if I'm connected because I can switch the filter and I look on my radio and sure enough the filter changes so I'm, I'm set to go and I'm down here in the sweet spot but I'm on BS, uh, PSK 31 and I want to go over to Ritty and in FL Digi you, you just have this Ritty 45 that's what you want and you'll see it change down here now I'm, I'm ready to send and receive Ritty and this is Ritty AFSK going through the sound card some people call it sound card ready and that's uh, that's what I'm using up here in the uh, the frequency now I'm on upper sideband and I'm uh, 1500 Hertz over so that's why uh, this is up here 70 85.5 it's 1500 Hertz above the uh, VFO frequency and this is going to be the frequency that I'm logged that I'm logging so uh, and if I spot someone you, uh, you want to you'll be spotting them on this frequency so uh, you want to make sure that's right if it's something other than that 1500 Hertz uh, if you got your setup like mine in the sweet spot at 1500 if you go to lower side band you'll see that well that's completely off so yeah we we want this upper side band 3600 I've got uh, I do have my squelch uh, enabled down here the viewer squelch a little bit I can uh, go down some and see if anybody pops up <laughs> but I've been calling and calling and calling and nobody has uh, nobody's answered uh, I did uh, have a PSK 31 contact yesterday and uh, that was because there was a contest going on but let me show you what it looks like um, I'm going to take a screen capture of my radio so you can see uh, what the front of it looks like. I've got the noise blinker, noise reduction off, um, AGC's on fast, uh, don't have any uh, auto notch or anything on, so I'm ready to uh, send and receive. Um, I've got, uh, if, you, if I want to hit the tune up here, I can see I've got my power set to 80%. And I'm looking at my radio, I want to make sure that my ALC is correct. And, yep, that's good. It's about half of that AF, ALC scale. Uh, I usually like a quarter to a half. And I just noticed i got to hit my tuner. Uh, tune it up. I'm going to try that one more time. And, yeah, 80 watts and ALC about halfway up the scale. And since I'm operating a uh, uh, sound card ready, I want to pay attention to that ALC if it was FSSK, FSK, then, uh, you know, the ALC would jump all the way over, which is fine. But on sound card ready, AFSK, we want to watch the ALC just like we do on PSK31. So uh, let's go ahead and transmit. I'm going to go to the menu that I have uh, for ready, and I'm just going to put out a uh, QRL and uh, see, what, uh, see what that does.
I'll turn it up so I can hear my radio. Nobody there. I'm uh, going to do that one more time. Okay. Now, another thing I've done just to make sure that I, it's working since nobody has called me back, <laughs> I've uh, uh, used my Elecraft KX2 to make sure that I am uh, sending ready and it's uh, uh, sending uh, properly. Uh, and I can decode it on my KX2 so I know it's working fine. Uh, there's just not many RIDI operators out there. I usually only use it when uh, when there's a contest. But let's uh, let's try to call a CQ. And there it goes. I've got another button over here, which is a CQ repeat. We'll see if anybody comes back. Maybe somebody will, will spot me. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, so this has been working really well, you know, if I can make a, a contact. But, you know, if uh, if this doesn't work, then I just jump over to PSK31. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me give you a couple of tips. You can see I'm back on RIDI down here. I went up to operator mode and went to RIDI. And over to ready 45 so I'm ready to receive and transmit sound card ready and here's a couple of tips if you're using the ICOM 7610 file that I have on my website for FL Digi and RigCat let's go in and take a look at it config dialog and then down to rig control and RigCat and uh, this is the file I'm referring to. You can find the download to it on my website, k0pir.us. So I'm using this, and I'm using COM12, which is a CIV cable, and the baud rate is 19.2. Sometimes when I bring up FL Digi, I notice that uh, it wasn't syncing up with my VFO. It wasn't connecting. I had this uh, selected. And since I've had this off, I think it has been working a little bit better. Uh, don't quote me on that, but if you're having trouble, uh, go ahead and try uh, enabling it or disabling it and see what happens. And another thing is, if this isn't syncing up with your VFO, see I'm spinning my VFO, if that's not working, restart your computer. Make sure that you don't have anything else open that would be taking that COM port. And then if that doesn't, if you don't see anything, then go ahead and restart everything and open up FL Digi by itself. Because the way that I have it set up, if you're following me, I don't even ha need to have Log for the Old Man open. Uh, this will log right into Log for the Old Man. If I had a contact, I'd, I'd save it. It would save in the FL Digi log. And then the next time I open Log for the Old Man, it would pop up in the log. Alright, and one more tip. Let's go to the buttons. I'm back on RIDI, and I've got my macros down here. And here's a good one, a CQ repeat, because there aren't many people out there. I'm going to right-click on it, and go up here, and I've got a timer added at the end. Timer colon 30 in the brackets. So that will repeat, and that's a good time. It gives them enough time to answer. And here's another one, the RIDI uh, CQ. I've got a little idle in there, and you'll notice it when I hit CQ. There's a little idle, and that just gives people a, a second, a you know, split second to see that I'm going to start transmitting. And they can jump over to my frequency. But anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, help me to reach 10,000 subscribers. 73 and good DX.